Rosie's Fun Fur Special. Rosie is a lively little tabby. She is very quick. She also likes to be very busy. Any job is a good job for Rosie. One day, Rosie and Emily were at Knapford Station. The fat controller had some important news. The Funfair train is waiting at Brendam Docks. Rosie was excited. She hoped the fat controller would ask her to pull the Funfair train. Emily, you must pull the Funfair special. Rosie was disappointed. Rosie, you must be Emily's back engine. Rosie didn't want to be the back engine. She wanted to pull the Funfair special on her own. I have a lot to do today. After we pull the Funfair special, I have to collect milk from High Farm. Rosie puffed sadly along. She wished she could pull the special on her own. Then Rosie had an idea. If she arrived at the docks before Emily, she could take the fun first special. Then Emily could puff straight to Hill Farm. That would really help Emily. So Rosie raced off as fast as her pistons would pump. Rosie puffed alongside the fun first special. This is a very long train. Rosie couldn't see that Emily was already coupled up and waiting for Rosie. Rosie quickly coupled up to the Funfair special. Emily will be pleased, she thought. Still, Rosie didn't know that Emily was on the other end of the train. Then there was trouble. Rosie huffed and puffed. She heaved and hauled. The couplings groaned and strained until one of them snapped. Hooray! I'm pulling the Funfair special! But Rosie had left half of it behind with Emily. Rosie puffed proudly along. The children were very excited to see Rosie pulling a fun fur special. That made Rosie happy. Then there was trouble. Another coupling snapped. Up ahead, Bertie was carrying children to the fun fur. Rosie chuffed by. Bertie started to toot his horn. He's tooting at my fun fur special, thought Rosie. But Bertie was tooting because the coconut truck was rolling toward the level crossing. It smashed against the gate. Coconuts rolled everywhere. The level crossing was blocked. But Rosie didn't know. She puffed happily on. Then another coupling snapped. Rosie passed Stepney in a siding. Stepney was waiting to puff onto the main line. The points changed. Stepney blew his whistle loudly. He's whistling at my fun fur special, thought Rosie proudly. But Stepney was whistling because the truck of sugar was now rolling towards him. Stepney was covered in pink sugar from funnel to footplate. But Rosie didn't know. She puffed proudly on. Rosie steamed up Gordon's Hill. Another coupling snap. She heard an engine's whistle. They're whistling at my fun fur special too, Rosie thought happily. But it was Emily with the rest of the fun fur trucks. Rosie's flatbed was now rolling back towards Emily. It bashed into Emily. Seats from the big wheel clattered and clanged all over the tracks. Emily was stuck. Rosie chuffed cheerfully into Maidwaite Station. Nobody waved or whistled. The fat controller was cross. I told you to be Emily's back engine. But I brought the fun first special all on my own, sir. I wanted to help Emily. You haven't helped anyone. You have caused confusion and delay. You've left off the train. Now there will be no fun fur for the children. Rosie felt terrible. She had wanted everyone to be proud of her, and now they were cross. Please, sir, I know just what to do. 
I'm a very quick engine. I can collect all the trucks. Then I'll be Emily's back engine. And we will deliver the fanfare special in time. So Rosie whooshed off as fast as her wheels would wear. First, Rosie collected Rocky. Then she pulled them as quickly as she could to Emily. Emily's tracks were still blocked. I'm so sorry, Emily. I only wanted to help you. Rocky will clear the line. I will collect the other trucks. Then we can deliver the Funfair special together. Thank you, Rosie. Rosie left Rocky, and she raced away to collect the first truck. She picked up the coconut truck. Then Rosie collected a new truck of sugar, and she raced back to Emily. Rosie had been very quick. Rocky had just loaded the seats back onto the flatbed. I'm ready to be your back engine now. And together they set off up Gordon's Hill. Rosie and Emily arrived at Maithwaite. All the children waved at the two engines. We have delivered the fanfare special in time. That evening, Rosie and Emily watched the children at the fanfare. The children were having a wonderful time. I hope we can work together on another special. The sooner the better. Working with you is best of all. Rosie couldn't have felt 